Anyway, what I popped on here to tell you guys about is not my walking and not my eating, but I can share some of that information with you guys, too. We are back. The Power Project is back on YouTube. So So I've been doing this shit a long time and never, never once in my life have I ever seen YouTube give back a channel to somebody they banned and then they appeal the ban and say, no, you can't have it back. But then a few days later, they give it back. I've never seen it in my life. And then Chris Bell calls me up last night and he goes, John, guess what? I go, look, he says, my brother got his channel back. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's impossible. I've never seen it happen ever in my life to anybody, no matter how much money they tried to pay people to do it, right? He goes, a fan of the channel saw his channel went, went down. He works for YouTube and he got it back. I go, how the hell is that even possible? I know Nick Tregilly. You guys remember Nick Tregilly, the, the detective? Everyone says he's an asshole, and he is an asshole. I know him, but I still like him, even though he is one. Um, you remember him? He spent probably $50,000 trying to get his channel back, and they said, fuck you, no way. Even he tried with employees, everything. So how did this guy do it? Anyway, what I popped on here to tell you guys about is not my walking and not my eating, but I can share some of that information with you guys too. We are back. The Power Project is back on YouTube. So after getting deleted and booted from YouTube, we are now back on there. So hopefully everything works out and hopefully, uh, you know, that doesn't happen again in 2024 or ever again. It's crazy. I've never seen it happen before. In the meantime, all of us are making videos saying he got canceled and we all look like assholes with fake news. Even Greg Munchkin, man, he puts a video out this morning knowing he got his channel back, but he still puts out the video anyway that he got canceled. I don't understand why. Maybe he wants to double up on the money, most likely, but I've never seen anything like this. But I want to say I'm happy, you know, Mark got his channel back because like I said in my first video, him and his brother, they've done so much for this industry and they're actually good people. And I'm going to close this by saying, it's not going to be a super long video, but I'm going to close this by saying, okay, like I always say, all of us, we're not born perfect. None of us. A lot of us do bad shit in life, right? I've done plenty of bad things in my life. But you know what? I learned from them. It made me a better person. And now I try my best to be the best I can to people. And you know what? Mark and Chris, they're great people. And like I always say, and this ain't a religious thing. If you want to take it religious, you can, depending on what you believe. But you do good shit to people. You treat the people around you good. I'm telling you, it always comes around. And in the end you end up being blessed. So um, that's what I believe always, and it always turns out right. People have screwed me in my life many, many times, many times, and they're still going to screw me. But you know what? I know the good that I do always outweighs how people screwed me. So in the end, I'm always going to be blessed. I've been on TRT for over 10 years, and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger than I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm going to put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results. And then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust. 
that I actually did the whole process with and pricing is competitive similar to everybody else who does it but this is a company that I use and a company again that I trust.